my name is Menno. Welcome to my art channel. Thank you for joining me today. Um, now, I gotta tell you something guys. I wanna try something new again. And it's been a while now that I bought this catalyst wedge here. And I saw one of my friends, Rose uh, Mamakas Cummings uh, from Rose M Creation. I will link her at the top here. Um, you should go and see what she did. And I felt like doing it also. I love the colors she used. And uh, I was just so excited when I saw this. And I told her that I was really in love with her painting. So I will try to do something similar. Um, I love the colors that she used and uh, the technique. And I will really try to have some fun in this uh, little adventure here <laughs> so without further wait i'm gonna bring you down on those beautiful colors guys in just a second all right guys so these are my beautiful colors for today so let's start off with this this is iridescent pearl uh from goldens beautiful white shimmery okay now i don't know if you remember my lionfish these were my drips on my table. See that purple iridescent um, violet here? I really love it. So this is a mystery color. This is also a mystery color. And I love this pale, I mean, mint color, green mint color. I don't know how to call it, but it, it's really a pretty color. And those also are the drips that I got on my table. Now, this is from Pourage pa uh, Posse Paints, uh, Lemon Lime Shimmer. Here we have Iridescent Greenish Blue from Pebeo Studios. I usually use um, uh, blue-green. Now, this is green-blue. I said greenish-blue, but it's not true. It, it, it's Iridescent <laughs> Green-Blue from Pebeo Studios. Whew. Boy, oh boy. Here I have Deep Sapphire from DecoArt Metallics. And here is Green Apple from um, Modern Masters. Now, look at this beautiful kind of Prussian blue. This, it's a homemade Prussian blue. I had this Artist Loft Flow Acrylic in blue. And I have black Artist Loft. So what I did, I put a lot of this blue in the, in this doll cup here and I had it a, a squirt the black. So it gave me this beautiful Prussian blue. Of course, I have Liquitex Pore Medium and Liquitex Gloss Medium in here and Floetrol and a little bit of water just to make this consistency because I don't want it too thick but I don't want it too thin also. So, yeah, here are my colors for today, guys, and uh, wish me luck with that beautiful catalyst here that I'm going to use today. So, let's get painting, guys. Let's get busy. Well, guys, I'm back, and today I wanted to show you that I'm going to play <laughs> or work <laughs> on a 15 by 30 inch gallery wrapped canvas. Um, I will try to get a little bit closer to you guys. Maybe you're going to lose the corners, but yeah, I think it's going to be okay. This is going to be okay. So, yes, uh, 15 by 30 inch canvas. And um, I will put some music on for you guys. I'm going to start off by layering a base coat up here. And then I'm going to layer my colors down here to play with my catalyst. So... Put some music on for you guys. Relax, sit back, and enjoy the video. And uh, I'll talk to you later.
All right, guys, this is absolutely stunning. I'm loving it. I love the colors. Thank you, Rose, for the inspiration. Doesn't look quite like yours, <laughs> but I am in love. And believe me, guys, I'm going to do more of this because this is just amazing. And as you told me, uh, it is addictive. <laughs> so I'm going to bring you down, guys, to show you how pretty these lines are and beautiful cells I got in there. So, yes, I'm bringing you down in a few seconds, guys. All right, guys. So, look at this beauty here. I'm going to bring you closer so you can see all the beautiful lines there. Look at that. Looks like beautiful ribbons. Can you see this cell here all alone by itself? <laughs> this is so funny. Look at that. I am really fond of this. Sorry for the headlight causing a little bit of um, glare here. But look at that. Isn't that interesting? And look at those cells here. Wow. Giant sapphire cells. <laughs> this is so cute. Look at that. Oops, sorry. I will try to show you. Oh, this piece is so interesting to look at. And I'm happy I left a few bold sections here, you know, because, you know, like we always say, the eye has to have a place to rest. But looks like ribbons. Yes, I am very proud and very fond of this piece, guys. And look at that. Oops, sorry, get the glare. <laughs> so yes, I hope that this will dry like this. Uh, and I will show you once it's totally dry, guys, in a couple of seconds. All right, my beautiful friends, look at that end result. I am so pleased with this beautiful painting here that I did with my catalyst wedge. Uh, <laughs> it's so pretty. I'm very happy with it. Let me show you from up close. See the shine in here? Yeah. So this is only because I use Liquitex Medium Gloss. This is what makes it shiny. Well, of course, we've got metallics in here also, but look at that. Look at that. How interesting is that? Ooh, I love those lines here. <laughs> oh, my goodness. And these colors, look at that. Look how pretty this is. Looks like like I said, ribbons, ah, uh, this is totally insane. Of course, I'm going to play with this more. So, yes, this is the whole piece, guys. So now it's your turn to tell me what you think about this one. So leave me a comment down below. And I read each and every one of you. And I answer each and every one of you. So... If you're interested by this piece, just go check on my Instagram page, Manon Petit Art, and you will see the picture, the size, the price of this beauty here. So you just have to shoot me an email. So, yes, take care, you guys, and until the next video, au revoir.
Bye.